Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm doing your uh, second week of May reading for the sign of uh, Aquarius. So let's see what's coming up for the sign of Aquarius for the second week. Uh, starting from today, which is 8th through the 14th of May 2019. Uh, be mindful of the fact it is a general uh, reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. You can always uh, get a personal reading in your particular situation if you uh, feel like. You can also follow me on Instagram um, where I do daily readings. And uh, if you have not followed me yet, you can do that. Uh, the link uh, to my profile over there is in the description box. Um, you can always reach out to me for personal readings on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out the affirmations that I am offering, which are definitely helping so many people out there with the uh, with you know overcoming the blockages they have uh, subconsciously, which might be kind of you know working against you in one way or the other uh, because uh, you have certain blockages in your subconscious mind regarding the situation that you are in. So um, the affirmations really help people with, um, with you know, having difficulties uh, reaching their goals because you might be, you know, subconsciously, you might be kind of, you know, working against your own self. And in that particular case, affirmations really help a lot. And especially the uh, spiritually charged affirmations are going to get you the results faster and quicker than any other affirmations. So if you are willing to get your set of uh, affirmations done, you can always reach out to me for that as well on my email ID in the description box. Um, let me explain you the format of the reading. It is basically pretty much the same as I did for the first week of May readings. And um, I pulled out one card from the Sacred Language of Color cards, one card from the Romance and Jericho cards. I'm going to pull two cards from the Rider Waite deck and then we shall start. Let's see what's coming up for Aquarius. Sapphire, this card has showed up for three signs, even though I shuffle a lot. Um, but um, do take care of your body. Uh, you can also wear the specific color of blue as uh, the sapphire. You can also wear the gemstone sapphire if you are into that. Uh, it is going to help you regenerate body and You might be neglecting some issues that you might be having physically um, and it's time for you to kind of you know start paying attention to the changes that you might see or experience in your body don't take it light do get it checked if you feel some sort of you know um, um, if you uh, if you observe something is different uh, than the you know the norm then uh, do get it checked do get it scanned uh, because you might end up having some sort of issue um, if you don't take it seriously. It's, it, I don't pick up any, you know, um, that negative kind of a thing, but it's always good to stay, uh, you know, protected. And, you know, it, it's like, you know, as they say, that the precaution is better than the cure. So um, just um, as a precautionary measure, do get yourself checked if and only if you feel something is wrong or something is not, uh, you know, normal uh, within your body or it, you know, um, for some of you, I would also suggest you to um, observe your relationship as in um, you might need to kind of, you know, rebuild the structure of your relationship for some of you. Um, maybe the, the, the foundation to your relationship might be getting weak for some of you. And you really need to pay attention to that area as well for some of you, yeah. Um, I am picking up health issues to your spouse as well or for your spouse as well. So be, uh, be, uh, be mindful of that as well. Um, it could be serious if it 
it is you know resonating with your spouse if it's you it's not going to be serious but if it relates to the spouse then it it could be something serious because i'm picking a very negative energy now um like very negative i don't even want to talk about it so um be mindful of that do get yourself and your spouse checked if you experience any changes in your in the way you see things in the way you feel things in the way you um For some of you, it could lead to something really serious and very bad. Uh, so the romance of Jericho card has to say, true love, this is the romance of a lifetime. Sorry, I'm, I was showing you the other side of the card. The person that you are dealing with, they definitely love you so much. Or you love them so much. But for some of you, like I mentioned, you really need to work on the foundation of the relationship. Uh, it could be resonating with the people who are, you know, meeting somebody new. Um, since it's a general reading, I cannot specify who is going to feel what towards the relationship. But I will, I will definitely give two advice here. Um... If you are building a new relationship right now, watch how or just just, you know, um, invest your time, your love, your care, building the foundation to all, you know, foundation of this relationship. And if you are already in a relationship with this person, um, either way, I would suggest you to just, you know, give your attention to this person this love of your life that you have in your life or that you are going to receive um for very few of you i don't see that is going to last long because i do see death of spouse or you know the separation the eternal separation i would say so um enjoy as much as you can spend as much time as you can with them because i am picking up i don't even you know i don't feel good at all right now saying this but it's it's um it's going to be you know heartbreaking for obviously for those of you who are in a relationship um and you know if the other person means the world to you it's going to be very you know heartbreaking for you but um i am picking up that energy so um since this is yet to come i would uh they might have some medical issue that you don't know about yet and maybe it would happen very swiftly it would happen very you know out of out of, out of nowhere you would get to know that they have certain you know medical issue and they are not going to live longer um it's it's very negative i don't even feel like in talking about it let's move on and let's see what's up because it's not going to resonate with everyone out there but for sure there it would re resonate with uh with a few for sure um, let's uh, move on to the right away cards here. Two of Wands, Pair of Red, Six of Pentacles. As, like, uh, you know, as, as this situation could come for, uh, for uh, as this is the energy I'm picking up coming for you, uh, during the second week of uh, the month, I would suggest you to uh, give charity um, to to protect yourself, to protect the energy around the house, to protect the energy around this relationship. That can, you know, the charity can be, uh, you know, um, it can be just a smile as well. If you if you smile towards a person who is feeling bad, and your smile can make up their, you know, uh, their whole day and. For that matter of fact, like, you know, you, you would be blessed. Um, it, it's something that you, it's, I would suggest you to gather as much of, uh, you know, the prayers as you could during this week. So you could stay away from the, uh, from the bad luck, which I believe is going to strike you in your love life. Uh, for, um, So yeah, give be charitable, be kind, be generous to the people around you. Uh, charity doesn't have to be something big and huge. It could be a penny as well if you could give it to somebody uh, in need. If you could feed a poor, if you could help, uh, 
an art film or something do that because that's going to help you kind of you know um uh clear the clouds of bad luck which i believe is going to be kind of you know um surrounding you or your love life or the person that you are dealing with in the second week of uh, may um The energies are very heavy. I don't feel like, you know, continuing this reading here. And um, I wish and hope everything, everybody that you are dealing with stay safe and you also say, uh, stay safe. But yeah, um, you know, as a precautionary thing, do get yourself checked up and do get the person that you are dealing with checked up uh, medically. So, so you don't have to face anything, any sort of loss in your love life. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for the sign of Aquarius. I really wish and hope that it doesn't resonate with much out there or with many people out there because the energies are not so positive. But uh, if you are stuck in a situation like this, you can always reach out to me for uh, for a personal reading if you need further details about it. Um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week. Um, I shall see I shall see you in the next reading that I do for the Aquarians. Till then take care and stay happy and stay protected. Take care, bye bye.